my phone went through like a serious update last night with the... It seemed like a serious update because it made me not use my phone, but now Pokemon's having trouble opening. <laughs> Morning, morning. You just realized it's also probably because I'm probably in the process of decoupling from the wireless. And I don't want to turn it off. Hang just on. so. Because I don't want to have to download another app just to automatically turn my Wi Fi off when I'm not near the house. Besides, yours doesn't even do it till like two blocks away, anyways. Yeah. I, I mean, why not just turn it off? Because when I'm at home, I want to, ha I want to be able to use it. Do you, it's on and off, on and off, on and off. And I don't understand why the wireless takes so long to decouple. Because it's designed to stick with your device for as long as it can. And mm. it steps down through the various, uh, uh, forgot the word. The various Frequencies states. and stuff? Yeah. Basically it would go through 4G to 3G to 2G to, uh, I'm sorry, I can't anymore. Kinda, yeah, it goes to, from, uh, AC down to N, down to G, down to A, down to B. AC now? Yep. Well. It's how they get 1300 megabits per second. On wireless. That's pretty awesome. That's yeah. a pretty awesome speed, but so, Aaron came home last night, he goes, did you buy Legion? I was like, no, I want to pay rent first, but, <laughs> like, I, mean, I didn't even check the bank account. I may have gotten my money. I was going to check it today. <laughs> Because it's in my habit to actually pay rent on the first if I can. Because yeah. I'm not... It's just weird that they put it in earlier than usual. I only saw it because I was checking. Because it said, ooh, I have a lot of money on my account. Oh. Yeah. And I was sitting there and I was like... Because I remember when I had like the back check for a while. At least at the beginning, I was like, I'm going to pay rent as soon as I can. Log in like the 28th of the month. Oh, no, it's not there yet. That's understandable. Log in on the 29th. No, it's not there. 30th. No. 31st. No. I went down to the office. I was like, I literally just got the email today saying, pay your rent online on the 31st. And they're like, I'm like, why can't I go online and pay it? They're like, well, because it's ready on the 1st. I'm like, hmm. So I've been running under that assumption for the last two years. It's only recent that it's ever showed up early. Uh, they may have changed their computer system. There may have been a management change that we didn't know about. <laughs> it's still Waterton. Well. But they may have just upgraded their systems. The company. Oh, yeah. The company's still the same. But their policies and management stuff on the inside gotcha. of the company. Under big things, it's like, how many CEOs has Apple had? <laughs> it's still Apple. They still create basic products and we're using basic under like basic girl products <laughs> not very basic products <laughs> even though technically an iPhone is pretty simple I mean it's got two three button four buttons one well okay volume power yeah, yeah. so one two four. three button oh I thought there was a volume up volume down mm-hmm two buttons power and button okay so it's got more than hours I mean, technically, we have three actual buttons, and then the three that are on the screen. Yeah. So, it has more buttons than we do. It's more complicated than my phone! Don't do iPhone! But, yeah, hopefully, Willie and I will be able to get out today. Like I said yesterday at the end of the video, he was recovering from his birthday, so I wound up running Coyote Hill! The thing's gone. It's your choice. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about it. Okay. Alright, we're back to this. Yep. It didn't ding. <laughs> Who knows? Mm. What's wrong with my Pokemon when it gives me a Jolteon over every other Pokemon? <laughs> like it's pretty bad that I like the I like the concept of Jolteon, but he is like nowhere close to my top nine strong Pokemon. Even capped out. He's at like 1300. But is he capped out? Yeah. Okay. I haven't leveled since I showed you last and he was absolutely capped out. Is that your old ticket? Or is that a new ticket? This is brand new that I just got. Okay, I, I don't... Considering I haven't had one of these in most of a year. Okay. Here's the thing. I don't... It, you folded it and when... Previously, you would fold the old one that you didn't have and you'd throw it away. I'd fold all of them and put them in this pocket. My change pocket. Oh. When I don't fold them, they stick out the top and... 
uh, as I move, they fall out. Uh, so we finished up some watch later last night. We actually watched that little thing that was the fall of Azeroth or whatever that thing was called. That I think it looked like the actual commercial that Blizzard was putting out to mm. uh, entice people. And uh, I had to watch it again this morning to be like your typical geek that had to watch and pause, watch and pause, and stare at the screenshots. And I'm like, what does this mean? What's that mean? What's this mean? What's that? What's that? What's that? <laughs> Except this time, unlike the coyotes, and I'm like, oh god, it's a human pie! <laughs> Which, well, about rep six, uh, I ran up to the top, and halfway up the hill, I looked, and there was a coyote, and he was poking his little head over the hill top, and he just. And the moment I got I got any closer, he just booked it across the the hill, and I was like, "You ran real fast." That's why they're dangerous? Because they can run real fast. Yeah. So I was like, "Is that Dalaran getting attacked?" And then, but then my brain had a little hanger like that looks closer to the ground level than anything. So I watched it again this morning, and I was like, "Yeah, that is on the water." And Dalaran's well floating and could be close. It's not on the water. And so I did my research that it's it's Zeramar. Because I remember that was becoming a zone, and I was really happy because that was Aaron's first server. But I was like, <laughs> I told him, I was like, it's Suramar! What's Suramar? And I was like, he goes, I only know it. I'm like, oh, because it's your first server. Yeah, it's basically the Dalaran of highborn night elf culture. <laughs> oh, so. Also, apparently, like, Ysera or Dark Ysera is going to get attacked by that Satyr guy that was in the night elf zone. Oh. Yeah. Do you remember, like, we did it in Hygel, we even, like, freed him? Yeah, he's making a comeback. I forget his name, man, it really it sucks. Gotcha. I attacked the gym and I just, like, blew through a bunch of Pokemon and I want to heal him right now and go through it again, so. <laughs> Fair enough. But, uh, what is it? Oh, mm, almost had him. Xavius. <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, yeah, because, and then, like, I like the fact that Xavius showed up, I think he showed up in Fellwood also? Like he was like the one guy who'd like, oh hey yeah, we're gonna do this. I'm like, we're gonna take you in! But like, but? And it was just like that, that um, go old lady that did the experiments on people. It's like, we're gonna take you in! And she's like, ah yes, but if you take me in, you'll never get the cure for your poor colonel. And they're like, damn it! Hmm. It's that sort of like, and that was, gotcha. that's, that's kind of sort of the thing that Xavius did in his quests. It was just like, ah, but if you keep me captured, I'll never tell how to help with the fire elemental. Okay. So yeah, today's the first of the month, which means I have a ton of stuff to do when I get to work. And I just really wish they'd get to automating it. Because there's, there's a lot of stuff of this that can be automated. Okay. But they won't let me. Why? Because it costs money. It requires actual developer time. So, No Man's Sky update. Yeah, the, uh, <clears throat> this, the system that has the, uh, Atlas interface in it, so I didn't know what I was warping into. The last one had, like, two planets in it, and they were, like, shitty. So I'm like, do the Atlas interface planets are, like, crappy? Because, like, the four planets I've been into in this six-planet system are craptastic. Like, they've got plant life. This last one has a fair bit of animal life that wants to kill me. Yeah. And the drones are aggressive, but it's got Gravitino balls. But it's just like, oh, I'm gonna... <laughs> the drones see you, scan you, attack. Yeah, this isn't frenzied where they're just immediately attacking the first thing they see. Which I wish I could go back to that planet and just sort of watch to see if they are attacking the animal life. There isn't probably any animal life on that planet though. But they're aggressive. This isn't just high security. This is aggressive. So I don't really have much. So also I realized that the starred things for tra the traders and, and even the, the auction house or exchange only show up on the space station. I sat at a trade port and, on the planet and no, nobody showed up and I was like, I know I've seen it on you guys. Which one of you wants crows? You know, wants yeah. trolium. And I finally get up to the space station I'm sitting there and this person wants trolium and the auction house wanted granite, which I might go make more of. Alright, well, bye.